Hey, Heidi here at Texas Art and Soul, and I teach you how to make many teaching paint parties online, in person, and with art kits. And I wanted to just take a second to um, talk to you about how much you could make with a paint party. So as you come on, go ahead and let me know if you are already teaching paint parties or if you are starting this. And I just wanna say hi, hello. Go ahead and say hi as you come on. Hey, Laura, hey guys. And um, I'm hoping I can see your comments, but I wanted to, I've been painting, as you can see, I have um, paint all over my hands. <laughs> but I wanted, and we actually have been doing some um, fun Christmas, exciting stuff coming up and just so excited. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Yeah, we, um, I just ordered some more paints to fill up the top wall. So I gotta fill up the top. I think I'm gonna fill the whole top wall with turquoise. And then the next one right here is gonna be all glitter. So I'm really excited about that. Hey, Anita, hey guys. Um, hey, Amanda, hey, Julie. Okay, so let me know um, as you come on if you are already teaching paint parties or if you're thinking about teaching paint parties. The reason why I wanted to take a minute and talk to you is because I think that we forget, especially if you've taken a break from teaching paint parties or you're just now getting back into it, we forget how profitable it is okay um just a week ago i was teaching um 12 people and i did a facebook live about it pixie was helping me um no tammy i have not gotten my fall painting done yet that's next on my list and i'm like ah oh, i'm just i don't know why i'm so worried about it I'm so worried about it. Um, hey, Laura. Hey, Vicki. Um, so let me know if you are doing paint parties. So last week, I did a paint party of 12 people. Um, I charged $35 a person. They want to have me back. Um, it's a new venue. Um, <laughs> it is my creative brain. It definitely is my creative brain exploded in my head for sure. Um, okay, good. We have um, Jay is saying, thinking about teaching. Awesome. Yes, it does. Definitely. And Deborah says she hasn't done it yet. Well, here's the cool thing. So 12 people and um, she had it included where they got, you know, wine with it because it's like at a winery. And they said that um, they, you know, she had it as $45 and I was taking 35 of it. So at the end of the night, I had a hundred or I'm sorry, $420. After my expenses and after paying Pixie, um, I probably made around three fifty. dollars um, So about $70 went to supplies and to um, different things. Let's see, Cheryl says, um, I haven't had my first party yet getting there soon. Um, I wanted to hopefully encourage y'all. Oh, thank you, Vicki. Hey, Judy. Um, I wanted to encourage y'all because here's the deal. 420 bucks for teaching 12 people for two and a half hours is a great gig. <laughs> it is a great gig. You know, I was just inside a paint party headquarters looking through some of the paint parties people are having. And, um, oh, Terry has her first party tonight. Let's congratulate Terry. Congratulations. That's amazing. Um, here's the thing. It is a good gig. It is great money. And what I like to do is I like to have a goal for my money. So I have, um, you know, right now I am putting any extra paint money that I'm making, I am putting towards Christmas because I want to have an awesome Christmas and I have some great fun ideas for Christmas. So anything, um, oh, and Linda says, I'm too stuck and scared to get in front of people. Oh, oh my goodness, Linda. I could talk to you about that for hours. I want you to read Big Magic. I know it has a few cuss words in it, but please, please read it. Sandy says, I haven't gotten up the nerve. Um, yeah, read Big Magic if you have not done it yet. And um, Tracy says, hello, beautiful lady. Good to see you. Really hope to have parties soon. I don't know why it's so slow going for me right now. Yeah, and y'all, for those of y'all that are nervous or you haven't gotten up the courage, read Big Magic. I know it has some cuss words, so just bleep it out if, if it's, you know, offending you. But there's so many things that it talks about. And one of those things talks about when, um, when you know, we're in our 20s, like, you know, we start to, you know, we really care about what people think. When we're in our 30s, we start to get a little loosened up. But by, our, you know, it, it talks about like when we're in our 50s and our 60s is when we really start to not care what other people think. And that's when she talks about the magic happens of like, you know, not caring. And then you just live your life and you don't care what other people think. And so after I read that book, and again, there's so many other great things in it. But after I read that book, I thought, why not live my life, you know, 
at that time in my late 30s, but now I'm in my early 40s, why not live my life like she's talking about living it in my 60s? Like, why not live my life like, you know, uh, with wildly unabandonment? I don't know if that's the right word, but just like so excited. Like, who cares if somebody sees me fail or who cares if, you know, by the way, you know, that comment about worried about people seeing you, they are worried about their art. They are worried about how they are painting. They don't care. They don't care what, what you know, I used to think they're going to be looking at me and going, oh, are you the, the, you know, most perfect teacher? No, they're not. As you can see, I'm not like a, a fine artist. I'm, uh, you know, I have fun. I love to paint. I love to get messy. But they're looking to you for the next thing. They're not looking to you as, oh my gosh, is she the best artist in the room? No, they're worried about their art. And so when I read that book, it kind of released that, that feeling of, of being worried about what other people think, of being worried about, oh my gosh, I can't follow this dream because I'm scared of what so-and-so might say if they see me on a Facebook Live. I just got done with that. Like, it just totally squashed. It was like, you know what? I'm going to live like I'm in my 60s. I'm going to live like I'm in my 70s. I'm not going to care what people think, and I'm going to go for it. And I am so, so grateful I did because when you do paint parties and you teach 12 people, you know, I saw Julie Wilson. She is amazing. She's in our group, and she's teaching. She taught hundreds of kids last night, not like 12 people, like hundreds. There's multiple people inside a paint party headquarters that are teaching giant parties. Do you have to teach giant parties to make great money? No, you do not. <laughs> you can still make really, really great money, but you've got to take that first step. And is it Sid Tara? She says 35 people at 40 per person, and it was so nice and fun. Yes, that is a good chunk of change, isn't it? That is a great chunk of change. And so what I wanted to share with y'all just real quick, and oh, Linda says, I'm in my 60s. Do you have that feeling like where you're just like, I don't care what people think. Like that's what, you know, that's what she talks about is like she just doesn't care, and it makes me feel and um, that feeling of just like, I'm going to live like that. Like, I want to live like that and not worry about what somebody else thinks, what they say, um, all of those things. I know sometimes it can be, um, oh, Kath says, I'm 68 and she's absolutely right. So instead of like, you know, wait, in, and regardless of whatever age you are, stop making the excuse of I'll do it then, or I'll do this later or whatever. Like we are about to approach fall. And if you are in the paint party world, you know that there is so much potential. There is so much awesomeness that happens around this time of year. And I am just so excited to help you with that. So remember, if you want to know more about paint parties, and um, make sure you do a heart or a like or a comment. That way it notifies Facebook that you want to know from me more. Um, also, if you want to get a text when I'm live so you can hear more from me or see me painting or whatever, we're doing a really cool tutorial. I want you to save the date for July 5th at 1 p.m. I'm doing a really cool free tutorial um, on Texas Art and Soul, but you can text me. And um, my text number is in the description. All you have to do is just text, you know, paint party or hey Heidi, whatever you want. Um, but that's going to um, let you know when I'm live because I'll tell you through text when I'm live. Um, oh, thank you, Terry. Oh, I'm so glad. I hope y'all like the space. We worked really, really hard on it. We had something pretty cool happen yesterday. Um, so we wanted to make sure that, you know, we were, we were good with our studio. It's not finished. The flooring is not where I want it to be. This is going to be wood flooring. And of course I've got a paint on it. Um, and Susan says, you're so right. Everyone is more concerned with our, with themselves than us. Yes, I love that. And Susan's another one who has a lot of parties and kits and does a really, really fantastic job. Um, I just don't want y'all to miss out on something that you've been thinking about doing. Rita, I love you. She says, I am 79 and will be doing my first party July 17th. Oh my gosh, let's cheer her on. That is amazing, Rita. That is so cool. Here's the thing. I just, I just, this is just my, my, my quick little thing. And then I'll, I'll shut up. I promise. Um, I just don't want you to miss out on all of the great things that you can do and all of the, 
you know, paint parties have changed my life, like for real, like totally have changed my life. And I am so grateful that God has like led me to this crazy step in my life. You know, I feel like God like leads us into this di these different areas or these different chapters of our life. And I always look back to when I started paint parties 13 years ago and how it led to that. And I remember the first time I went to a paint party that, um, oh, and everybody's congratulating Rita. Y'all are so awesome. That is awesome. Um, I remember going to my first paint party and I was a teacher. It was my first year teaching. Pixie was a baby. And, um, and I remember going and I did a good job and we asked, we were talking to the owner and she's like, yeah, you can come, you know, paint here and I'll pay you $50 for two hours. And I was just blown away. I was like, are you kidding me? I can make $50 in two hours. Yes. Sign me up. I'm there. Right. And, um, anyway, that, um, place ended up letting me take a, um, so the two owners were not artists. So they were having to hire people. Yeah. And Tammy, I love her story, which we'll be sharing soon. She says, um, they helped me pay off a $40,000, 25 year debt. That's insane. I, yeah, I'm with you, Tammy. I've paid off so much debt for my paint parties for sure. Um, it's, that's insane. And first off, just congratulations, Tammy. That is so, so cool. Could you imagine that weight of that? It's crazy. Um, Cynthia, I love that. She says, God reassigns us. I love that. I think, I think we have to follow like what we think is the next best thing. So if, if you would have asked me, you know, thir over 13 years ago, if you would have asked me over 13 years ago, if I would be here teaching you how to do paint parties, I would have never in a million dreams known that, thought that. That wasn't even a possibility Facebook-wise. Like, none of that was a possibility. Um, so I think we just have to take the next best step and what that is. And I think it's just so, so important to remember that, you know, we get opportunities. We get... Um, we get these like nudges. We get, you know, some people call them like, you know, angel whispers or, you know, I don't know. There's like God winks or whatever. We get these nudges of like, maybe this is something I should try or maybe this is something I should do. And then it leads us to the next thing. I always talk about, you never know where this paint party adventure is going to lead you. Um, and I just can't sit here and say, if this is something that is really, really like exciting for you. Like I remember when I was first doing them and I just had this like pit in my stomach. Like I have to do this. Like, and, and you know if that's you. And like, I just had this feeling like I have to do this. I have to know like what to do. I, and I, I just wanted to do it so bad. I knew I had to, even though I had a full-time job. And, um, oh, Harriet says, how do I find out how to start? Well, if you go to my website, there's tons of resources, tons of resources. Um, but you can also, um, if you go to my website, texasartandsoul.com, and just scroll down, you're going to see a thing called Paint and, Paint and Business Boot Camp. Oh my gosh, that is 15 bucks, and it is well worth that. There is so, so, so much, so much information in that. You're going to see me teaching an in-person paint party. You're going to see everything you need. Just so many details and things that you can grab off of my stuff. But um, but what I want you to know is that I don't want you to wait around and then a couple years go by and you're like, eh, I was, I was going to try that, but then it got busy. Like, we're all busy. We're, we all have things that we want. Um, we all have, you know, priorities. We all have the same amount of time. And I think that if you're really, really um, wanting to do this, I think you just got to, you got to do it before your brain stops you from doing it. And um, you've got to, you've got to take action. You've got to, especially with fall coming up, you know, we're already booking fall parties. I want you to be booking fall parties. And, um, and for those of y'all that joined late, I was just recapping, you know, last week I did a party of 12 people and it was 420 bucks for two and a half hours. Like, I don't care who you are. In my book, that is great money. <laughs> In my book, that is a good night. I mean, that's, you know, half of our Christmas budget. I mean, that is amazing. Like, right there. Like, you know, I got half my Christmas budget. So there's so many cool things that you can do. And yeah, like Tammy says, there's huge seasons starting up. Mary Johnson says, how do I start? I love to paint and I do holiday window painting, but I had surgery and I can't do them anymore. Sad because I love doing 
them so much. Oh my gosh, yeah, holiday window painting is so cool too. And um, so if you want, you can just grab and um, go to Texas Art and Soul. And um, if you wanna know when I'm live, make sure you do a heart, make sure you comment. Um, because that'll tell Facebook that you like seeing stuff from me. Um, and then you can also text me. If you text me, I'll tell you when I'm live. Um, my text number is in the description. Um, Sherry says, if it's your purpose, you know it. When you leave a paint party smiling ear to ear, um, let me see, ear to ear, like I did this weekend, it's your calling. I know, right? Like, oh my gosh, I, I just love an in-person paint party. And Jay says, and way more money than you had before. Yes, definitely. When you're leaving with 420 bucks, it's like, it's extra money. You can do whatever you want to do with it. I like to always say never spend your paint party money until you've done your paint party. And um, because I teach you how to do prepays inside a paint party headquarters. But it's so, so true about... Um, just using it for whatever you need. I mean, you know, used to my paint party money was for groceries or whatever I needed, but now it's awesome because I can put that money aside and put it, you know, especially those of y'all that are working full time, you can put it together for like a Christmas savings or you want to go on a vacation or whatever it is, like just start stashing that money. And it's so exciting to go like, this is my creative money and here's what I'm going to do with it. So I just wanted to hopefully encourage y'all. Let me know if this was encouraging, if this helped at all. Um, Clarice says it is my passion. Yes, I, I love it. You know, yesterday I was interviewed um, for something cool kind of coming up. And, um, and that's one of the reasons why I redid my art studio because we had the filming crew and stuff in here. And I just wanted to, um, you know, make sure that the art studio did not look like a garage sale because that's what it looked like. And so we kind of did like a two day like crash, you know, on this. And, um, and they asked me, they said, would you, would you, um, continually do paint parties? And I'm like in person because I do so much online now with helping y'all. And, um, and I'm like, yes, like, there is no better feeling, no better feeling than oh, leaving a paint party and getting to meet new people and hug people and, and helping them and being in person. Like so many great things happen um, whenever we are, you know, in person connecting. Yes, you know, there's online paint parties and yes, there's art kits and all of that great stuff. You know, I, I, I think you should do all of it. Honestly, I think you should do all of it and find ways to do all of it. But as far as like, um, doing the, the paint party part, like I just can't imagine and not having that a part of my life. And um, Cheryl says, I will have to get my, past my fear of being judged and try to do a paint party. Yes, Cheryl, you can do it. And then definitely, um, for those of you that are, struggling with that, read the book, Big Magic. I'm telling you, it has really just changed my perspective on, I mean, I care what people think, but not to a part where it's going to rule my life. Like I am done caring what people think. Um, and that book was a huge part of it. Obviously a lot of prayer and because we can all go through times when we're, we have anxiety or we have you know, I've, I've always struggled with anxiety. So like we'll have anxiety issues or, you know, whatever you're going through, we have that like, you know, fear of being rejected. Fear of rejection is a huge thing. And so if you have that fear of rejection, like how can you get past that? And, and how can you start training your brain every day to, to wake up and go, this is my dream. Like, I don't want to sit back or be 88 years old and look back and go, I didn't try any of it because I was scared, because I was scared of, of judgment or scared of rejection. Like once you get past that, it's like the whole world is opened up because you don't care anymore. You, I mean, you know, yes, I care, but you don't care so much that it's gonna stop what you wanna do in your dreams. And um, the book, Amanda, is called Big Magic. And um, I'll show y'all, let me show you a, a picture of it real quick. And um, that I highly recommend, like I said, there is a, cuss word or two so we're all adults you can you can bleep yourself you know bleep that part of it but I remember somebody's like why would you ever recommend a book that had a cuss word and I was like y'all it's a good book <laughs> and we're adults <laughs> it's fine so here's the book it's by Elizabeth Gilbert and um, somebody recommended it to me and I'm so grateful I read it so yeah this will help you through it's creative living beyond fear and um, if you have not read it yet, I highly recommend doing that. Okay, so screenshot this. 
Oh, I got music playing. I gotta, gotta make sure I'm not in here because of the music or Facebook will shut me down. Okay, so hopefully um, y'all can read that book. And then here is, if y'all wanna see the studio from this angle, I posted a bunch of pictures. We are obviously not done, but um, this is my favorite thing ever. I feel like I'm in Miranda Lambert's closet. Um, and <laughs> that's what I picture she would have in her closet along with all the cowboy boots I've ever loved. And then, um, oh good, Amanda, I'm glad you can't hear it because I don't want it to turn off. And then, like I said, I'm gonna fill this with turquoise and then glitter. Um, and then I have a lot more. I'm gonna be adding quotes and stuff to this wall. So I have Dreamer started, but I'm gonna actually add quotes and things to that. And then I couldn't get away, I had to add some turquoise. I really wanna add some more turquoise to this. But um, yeah, we're, we have a lot of work still to do in here. And um, it's still, it's not totally my style yet. So I definitely want to um, make sure I spruce it up a little bit more. Um, and then um, Barbie says, that's me. All my life I've had a fear of rejection. Oh my goodness. You know, it's very common and I'll end on this. Um, it's very common. So I would give yourself some grace. If you're a praying girl like me, I would pray about it. I would journal about it. Um, and I would just um, really start start thinking about your words and um, start thinking about how um, you're speaking to yourself, how you're speaking about yourself and make sure that you are um, being very careful with your words because I want y'all to and um, know that, I mean, this whole world, this whole life is about us getting better, you know, becoming better people, becoming better um, mothers, daughters, friends, all of that. It's about, you know, sharing, you know, my whole purpose, again, sharing God's love through art. It's all about that. So I want you to, um, you know, any of y'all that are scared of rejection and you're scared to, to do a business because you are, you know, um, nervous about that stuff. I want you to read that book. I want you to pray. I want you to journal um, and start thinking about how you're you're speaking into your words. So just to recap, um, again, we started this with um, talking about you doing a paint party and how much you can make off that and how we are entering into fall season. And I just want y'all to be so successful and there's so much opportunity. So if you wanna know more, um, just text me. My text number is in the description um, or go check out texasartandsoul.com. There's a really great paint and business boot camp that will get you started if you're not already a part of Paint Party Headquarters. For those of y'all that wanna be a part of Paint Party Headquarters, we'll open the doors um, this fall. So watch for that and, and we'll see y'all soon. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you next time.